The Steiner Brothers on the cover of the current edition of the WWF magazine, the tag team champions. On the inside, George Steinbrenner, the boss, the principal owner of the New York Yankees. Yeah, and you know why they're doing so well this year? Because George Steinbrenner truly is the mastermind. He's making all the decisions, planning all the moves, and look where the Yankees are, right up there in contention. No doubt they are in contention. As a matter of fact, everyone is impressed with the Yankees, most everyone that is, and surely everyone has been impressed with Lex Luger. Lex Luger, unquestionably an American original, Mr. Luger, by the way, continuing in spirit, the Lex Express, the message of the Lex Luger call to action campaign. And Lex Luger, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe someday, somewhere, somehow, someplace, will be the WWF champion. Lex Luger truly is, ladies and gentlemen, an American hero. Well, he may be about total destruction. He unquestionably is about intimidation. What kind of a getup is that on Johnny Polo? Give me a break. Wait a minute, what, what does he have on his feet? That's his house slippers. Yes, of oh course. My, oh my goodness. That what? defies commentary. He's obviously been relaxing, lounging around a little bit. Johnny Polo with those they ducks? Penguins? What's up? <laughs> What's covering his feet? He does look pretty comfortable. Yes, well, everyone would look in awe at the presence of Adam Bomb. Adam Bomb the lock up with Ron Neal. We've seen some pretty intimidating characters here in the World Wrestling oh, Federation. This man right up there with the top of him. Look at the goofy looking eyes. Tell you what, Adam Bomb could go all the way to the top of the WWF, no doubt about it. He could be right up there with me, you know it? No, not that far. No one could be hoisted on their own petard quite as far as you have done to yourself. On their own what? You heard it. Adam yeah, Bob. I heard it, but do you think any of these idiots that are listening out here know what you're talking about? Or do we have listeners from check, check this out. Hey. What's he drinking? Annihilation is inevitable when Adam Bob is in the ring. Is that a glass of vino? I think it's a Ica Pro Storm. That's what it is. Look at that. Look at Adam Bomb. All, oh, my goodness. Adam Bomb doesn't want to take any pressers. Look at this. Adam Bomb all over Ron Neal. I like this guy. Neal for the ride. Oh, my. Adam Bomb, big 300 pounder. What a yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. yes. Look at him. That's what you get. When you put in the Adam Smasher, up you go. And down you'll stay. Johnny Polo with commentary. Kick to the rear area by Adam Bomb. Did you ever figure out what kind of house slippers those were? No, oh, I think maybe we're just gonna leave the house slippers alone. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, I think Macho Man thought they were killer whales. They're penguins. And you know something? You probably know all about it because you probably have a set just like them in your closet. But they're for his ears. He wears them as earmuffs? Yes. It's not that cold. Adam Baum setting up Ron Neal. Side suplex, nicely executed. And I would suggest Adam that uh, this is match is sort of lopsided. Adam sort of like uh, when the hitman Bret Hart gets back into the ring with the undisputed don't, king, Terry Lola. Don't say it. Don't even start, don't even start on that. Yeah. Look out! Adam Smash, you're coming your way! <laughs> Adam Baum destroying Ron Respectively on the feet of Johnny Polo. Now that's how much you know. Anybody knows that Huey, Louie, and Dewey are ducks. They're Donald's nephews. I see. Now there's quite a deal. You get a beating and a refreshment at the end of the match. <laughs> well, I mean, imagine if you were a king, what it would be like. Let's take you to face to face. I am a king. <laughs>